Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, as you see from the title of this video, we're going to get down to some nitty gritty. This is probably going to piss off some people, but these are my opinions, so take it for what you want. But what we have here is three top offerings of Tupperware. So where I'm going with this is when you're going to get your next polymer wonder, plastic gun, Tupperware gun, you know, whatever you want to call it. People call it all different kinds of things. And your new, improved, or your best, better, blah, 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 lipstick on a pig, okay? This one has square angles, more ergonomic. This one's more rounded. This one has smoother lines. This one is a micro. This one is a compact. This one is a full size. Take into account, is it better than your other gun? What does it offer? Does it just offer lipstick on a pig? Or are there truly usable items on that? Does it have better serrations? Offer front serrations? Metal sights, because you can just add sights to a gun and you don't have to buy another gun to get those. Or you could buy a different barrel, a threaded option for the one that you already have. Does it offer a superior trigger? You could buy a trigger for the one you already have. I see a lot of people, now I know there's, I'm not hating on anyone. Trust me, I've bought guns because, oh, that looks cool or whatever. But I've been around this game for a long, long time. The hype, the person pushing this gun. Companies make guns to usually become better, but some have very slight advantages or it, advancements in their eyes that aren't truly an advance, advancement compared to your old pistol. For example, Glock, not hating on them, I own them. But they'll say, oh, we've added front serrations. Okay. You know, could you have sent your gun you already own to have it milled for maybe a couple of hundred bucks versus another $600 pistol? Yeah, you could. I'm not telling people not to buy more guns. Trust me, I own plenty. But just really decide... Is it worth it? Because just because they put, this is the best. This one is better. Those are all opinions. Or this one is wow. You know what wow is, right? It's mom upside down. Like I like yours. So just because you see these little signs on guns or an influencer says these terms, that doesn't mean it's best for you. That's their opinions, and there is nothing wrong with that. And trust me, I have guns that I like that other people don't like. I have guns that people say these are the best. I've tried them, and I'm like, nah, <laughs> they're not. Um... You know, there are people out there that are just pushing things for people to buy. Nothing is wrong with that. You might want an advancement. You might think this gun is going to be better. But with the aftermarket out there, there's tons of things you can do to your existing gun that you personally own to make it better. Such as triggers, sights, barrels, magazines, extensions, springs. So just take that into consideration. Now, if you're going from a polymer gun to an aluminum gun or a steel gun or something like that, yeah, there's a big difference. But when you're in the polymer realm, there's not that much difference. You know, some people have a higher bore axis, lower bore axis. Those do help with muzzle flip and things like that. Be aware of that. A lot of the things saying, oh, this gun is heavier. You'll shoot it flatter. 
Okay, if you've got a pick rail on your existing polymer gun, you can add a flashlight to actually help with muzzle flip. These are just some little things that people get caught up in. Hell, in the past, I've gotten caught up in them. But go and check for yourself. Go and rent the gun and actually shoot it. See if you like it. I go into gun stores all the time. I'm sure y'all do too. Brand new guns, brand new, will be in the used case already. I'm like, wow, you've already got this in the used case? Yeah, that particular customer didn't like that. You know, didn't think it was all the hype that they thought it was. You know, I recommend things that I like, which you might not like. So I'm just stating all of these things as an opinion. Don't beat me up over it. But I'm just saying, do your research. Check out as what is best for you. Just because a person recommends it doesn't mean it is the best for you. So take a lot of things that you hear, say, you know, influenced by and all of that, take a lot of that with a grain of salt and just really say, is it the best or the better for me? That's all I'm saying. So not all the hype is real. So I appreciate y'all so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.